Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday. I'm John Blanche and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to set up the display screens in the Microtech Pro Dash. It's been one of the more popular requests I've received over the last few weeks when I've been doing these videos so I figured today it'd be as good a time as any to um, make a short video about it. While I'm on that subject, I'd like to thank everybody for the support that I've received so far. All the guys that have commented, who have liked the post, shared the posts. Um, I really do appreciate that. I uh, hope you've all learned something and continue to learn uh, as I'm doing more of these videos in the next few weeks. This week I'm going to use the laptop to show you how to set up uh, the screens. You can use the touch screen on the dash, you will end up with the same result. But for me to do this video, it makes it a lot easier to explain uh, doing it on the laptop. Um, a lot of people prefer the laptop. I personally prefer to use the laptop where I can. It does um, allow you to see a few more things that the dash touchscreen doesn't. So um, if you haven't tried using the laptop to set the dash up before, give it a try and you'll probably learn a few new things doing that as well. You're going to need to download the handset editor software from the Microtech website to connect up to the dash. But once you've done that, um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So if you'd like to follow along, I'll um, show you how it's done. All right, now to make things as easy to follow as possible, I've tried to fit both screens, the laptop screen and the dash screen in the frame so you can see what's happening on both. Once you're online uh, with the dash, you need to scroll down to the second screen, um, which is called the Dash Display page, um, which is page two. Now, on the main section here, you'll see on the Dash we have eight fields that can display different sensor values. So looking back up here on the Dash, you'll see each one of those laid out, four down either side. Um, field one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And as you scroll through, the one that you want to change, you just simply need to highlight. So for example, if we want to move, we have fuel pressure being displayed up in the top right hand corner now. If we wanted to change that to engine RPM, we simply highlight field two, press P for program on the keyboard, and we scroll through the functions until we find RPM, which is function number one. We'll go out of program mode, the dash will reset, and now you see the RPM is being displayed up in the top right hand corner. Um, field three, if we wanted to change that to oil pressure, highlight the field on the laptop software, P for program to go into programming mode, and move around until we find oil pressure. Get out of program mode and now oil pressure will be displayed. You'll also see when you make the changes over on the left hand side it will show you what sensor is being displayed in what position. Now you can have up to four different display screens. Um, this screen here is data screen number one which is indicated here. We scroll through the screens by using the external press, press button data screen number two, data screen number three, and then that's data screen number four. So if we wanted to change something on data screen number two, uh, we wanted to maybe replace the water temperature here, we'll use RPM for another example. We need to go through until it says data screen number two down here, field number two, which currently has water temperature displayed, We'll change that down to RPM. And now again, you'll see that being displayed on the dash. And that's it. Uh, very simple, very easy to do. Um, now that you've seen how to do it, there's no reason you can't do it yourself. So um, go and have some fun with your dash. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more with this week's video. If you did, please do us a favor. Like it, share it. Comment um, if there's something that you're not sure of or you've got any other questions, drop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. 
If there's another topic that you'd like me to cover in a future Tech Tuesday video, leave that in the comments section below and I'll do my best to um, see if I can make that happen for you in a future episode. Thanks again, guys. See you next week.